Hey everyone, it's Dan Keynes from Atlas Lens Co. Scott DeWald, Chief Lens Designer for Atlas Lens. So we're here at Cine Gear 2023, and we're super excited because this is only the second day that we're presenting the new Mercury Series 138 millimeter prototype. So this is the first time that the world has seen the telephoto end of the Mercury Series family. And if you haven't heard of the Mercury Series or Atlas Lens Co., uh, at Atlas, we were founded in 2016 with the goal of bringing great anamorphic cinematography lenses to a wider variety of new generation filmmakers. And Scott has been instrumental in helping us make that a possibility with his deep knowledge of optical design and his experience uh, learning some of the intricacies of anamorphic lenses. I worked with some of the German masters like Udo Schaub, yeah, right? Schneider, yes. Yeah, and he was former technical VP of Schneider Optics. Uh, so really fortunate to have such a brilliant team member helping us make this possible. And uh, one of the questions that we get is, what is a Mercury Series lens? So Mercury Series lenses are our full frame, 1.5 squeeze anamorphic lenses that have a T-stop ranging from T2.2 for the wide angle and medium all the way to uh, 138 millimeter, which is our newest prototype. And this opens to a T2.6. So for such a telephoto anamorphic lens, it's incredibly light, small, and fast. And uh, what we can tell you without revealing too much is that this type of lens is possible due in part to the research uh, originally started by Forrest Schultz, my co-founder, on his kitchen table years ago. And between Forrest and Scott, they managed to take some of that early research and then package it into something that makes technical sense to be actually manufacturable as a product. Um, so we have a patent bending design that allows us to make incredibly close focus, uh, incredibly compact, pat compact, compact yeah. anamorphic system. It's the first real new anamorphic focusing system in two generations, probably. So probably in about 70 years, right? And I'd say this is the most exciting thing that's happened in anamorphic lens design in the last 70 years. Yeah, uh, so we've filed the patent for that, and that's what allows them to be so compact, so light, and uh, incredibly accessible to a new generation of filmmakers, while also offering full-frame coverage. So the Orion series lenses, which we're incredibly proud of also, um, these use a technology concept that's been around since 1931, patented by a man named Newcomer, uh, but We've evolved that and made it accessible and reliable, dependable for modern filmmaking sets, whether you're shooting film on 4 perf, uh, something like a, a movie cam or an Aerie cam uh, or an Alexa Mini or Alexa Classic. Uh, and now with the Mercury series, we made these lenses to cover full frame sensors. Uh, so if you're stuck with something that only records a 16 by 9 ratio, you can actually use these lenses to still deliver a 266 to 1 cinemascope aspect ratio, but you can also deliver a 2 to 1 Netflix mode, 16 by 9. And so these make a great choice for delivering a wide variety of formats. Um, do you have anything you want to add about this? You want to talk about the flares? Yeah, that's a great question. So uh, Scott brilliantly reminded me to talk about the special coating. So... The Orion series, we paid homage to classic Panavision lenses like the C-series, uh, which have a cyan blue colored flare. Later, we introduced the Orion series silver edition, which have a neutral flare uh, due to the coating design, which allows for great light transmission, but also increases the flare and has a, a flare that takes on the color of the light source itself. And with the Mercury series, we went in a new direction, uh, also hearkening back to some of the other vintage French anamorphic lenses that have an amber color and golden flare. Uh, so, you know, thanks to Cot, Scott's coating design uh, and Forrest working with Scott, we've got these beautiful golden flares that don't look like any other lens, but, uh, you know, leave people really excited to, uh, to hit them with off-axis light sources and, and give you the flare vibes that you're all looking for. Yeah, the flares maintain the uh, color of the source. So a red, a red light will be a red flare. So it's a really neat way to uh, color your flares. Yeah, so they will take on the color of the light source, but they have a little bit of an amber bias, right? Yeah, if you give a white light, you'll end up having an amber color. Yeah. Cool. So, um, yeah, this has been a great Cine Gear. We're happy to be back on the Paramount lot. And uh, I like to call these the Gareth Edwards lens because 
uh, you know, we were inspired by some of the requirements that Gareth Edwards spoke to us about a few years ago when he was preparing for a movie that's going to be coming out later this year. And uh, Gareth said, uh, hey, I want to do this movie with a bunch of non-actors in a really small space where we're going to be able to move the camera through the space with a small camera. And uh, it has to be anamorphic. So he said, well, you know, in Orion 32, that's a pretty small anamorphic lens at the time. This is in 2018 we're talking about this. He's like, no, it needs to be smaller because we're going in really compact spaces. We're going to use carbon fiber booms and do some things with gimbals that no one's ever done before. And uh, that pushed us to continually try to make the lenses smaller and smaller, um, but still deliver all the anamorphic character and personality that people love. Uh, so unofficially, we like to call the Mercury's the Gareth Edwards lens. So huge shout out, Gareth and uh, Greg Frazier and uh, all of our cinematography and, and movie heroes. So. Yeah, we really love doing this and uh, really grateful to you, Scott. This has been a lot of fun. You know, Scott, Scott helps make it technically possible, so couldn't do it without Scott and our great engineering team. 